Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Riverstone 419 RD Legacy Edition. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful fifth wheel, and then we will show you at the end what it looks like closed up as well. So we will be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Riverstone 419 RD model here. We're gonna start back here in the back and then kind of work our way forward. So this is a rear den model. So back here in the back, you step up into your living room. You have a large Samsung smart TV back here, a really nice electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy uh, electric space heater, but they do look pretty cool in the RVs. There's a JBL sound bar there as well, and a little bit of cabinet space on each side. You have two opposing sofas here, and both of these sofas will flip out and make into beds. All vinyl floor up here on your main subfloor. You do have just a little bit of carpet on the slide out edging of the slide floor there. You have a powered theater seat, does have the little uh, USB charger ports in each cup holder, and there's also a little light there. Looking down the ceiling area here, you'll notice there's no big square AC in the uh, ceiling here. It has the Whisper Quiet AC system with the returns on each side. So it is quieter than most ACs when you're sitting up here trying to watch TV and have a conversation. There's electric outlet down there, a little end table here, and then you also have some light controls. The lights that have the up and down arrows are dimmable lights, so you can kind of set the mood the way you want it. One of the bigger upgrades on the Riverstone, besides the construction part of thicker walls and you know heavier duty frames and stuff, is going to be your cabinets and some of the woodwork in the RV. This is real stained hardwood. So your window valances, you know, your slide stuff, your cabinet doors and styles, this is all actually real stained hardwood. A lot of brands, this is a lumber core with a veneer paper wrap or a press board with a veneer paper wrap. But here, you're actually getting higher quality woodworking and stuff in the RV as well. You'll also notice on your windows, you'll see little stickers that say insulated window. And that's because these are dual pane safety glass windows, not just a single pane window like most RVs have. And you'll also notice the window frames and stuff built in around the windows. And that is because Riverstone has a thicker wall. This is roughly a three and a quarter inch thick sidewall where most RVs are two inches or inch and a half, depending on whether it's a heavy duty camper or a ultralight style camper. Most heavy duty campers are only two inches thick. Here you're almost three and a quarter inches thick. On the side here, you have your ceiling fan control. Electric outlet down there. You'll notice little beautiful step lights as you're going down the steps or up the steps. Little grab handles as well. Really, really pretty solid surface countertops. And these are a stone kind of style countertop. It's not just a uh, laminate Formica type of countertop that they're calling solid surface because there's no seams in it. 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. You have the large either microwave or convection oven, depending on how the unit's ordered. Large microwave standard convection oven is an option. This one has the uh, convection oven look to it. Down below here you have the Insignia oven. It's a very big oven, has a light built in, glass front. Uh, there's storage on each side, little blue lights above the knobs as well. And then it is a four burner cooktop. Over here on this side, you have six full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. 
And you also have a flip up and down counter as well. This one was ordered with the optional 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. So you have refrigerator on top, freezer on bottom, but this model is a 12 volt version instead of a 110 version. When you go to this model, it is just a hair smaller, but obviously it runs off 12 volt. So if you are more uh, off the grid style camping and things like that, some customers prefer this. Um, also, when you go this model, you lose the ice maker feature as well. Uh, again, if you do the bigger model, the residential version, it's nice, a little bit larger, has the ice maker, but it only works on 110. So you're relying on either your battery system to run it on, which does drain a lot faster than a 12 volt version, or you're relying on being plugged in as well. So kind of whatever your personal preference is, you know, they come two different ways. And you also have some storage space above that as well. Now, one other little thing too, I sometimes forget to mention on some of these models, there is a little pull out things on the side as well. And then these here have little shock assists on them to help hold them up. Now let's kind of spin around here and look at our island area here. So kind of looking down here at the island, we do have some storage and a little flip down uh, sponge holder thing and a trash can in the middle. And then over on the other side, you have your dishwasher and a big drawer down below that. You have a undermount stainless sink, which has a sink on each side. It's a dual sink basically, instead of one large bowl. Sprayer faucet as well. Now over here we have the dinette area here. And what I did, I got one of the fold up chairs out just so you could kind of see what it looks like. Uh, but you have two traditional chairs and then you get two fold up chairs. And then there's also a leaf extension that goes in here as well to give you more counter space or table space. Electric outlets on each side and there's a USB charger port on the left as well. And then there's some little shelf space down here too. They are still using the day and night roller shades. A lot of brands just do the day and night downstairs. And then when you get up to the bedroom bathroom area, you just have a nightshade. But here on the Riverstone, they use the day night on all of the windows. Kind of looking up here at your ceiling. Again, this was ordered with the third AC. So you're not seeing the big square here. You're just seeing the returns on each side. Cool little infinity light. Over here, you have a lot more cabinet space and drawer space as well. And then you have a little bit of counter space across here, electric outlet over there. You can kind of see some lights underneath. There's even an electric outlet on the bottom of that cabinet and then a lot of cabinet space above. And there's even a little bit of space up top there where you could set some decorations and stuff if you wanted to. The unit has a tire pressure monitoring system and this right here is a little screen for that tire pressure monitoring system. This also has the camera system we'll show you when we get outside and there's a monitor that comes with that as well. There is the electric box down there in the lower left. There's also a drawer in the step area that pulls out. And there is another drawer over there that I forgot to mention earlier. So they kind of like hide them down in the steps. Entry doors, a little bit wider, 32 inch wide entry door where a lot of brands are either uh, 30, 28, or 26. But here you have a little bit wider entry door. Their entry door also has that vinyl insert. So besides the screen, I have a vinyl insert here. So I could technically leave my main door open and not lose all my AC with those vinyl inserts. Now those vinyl inserts are removable and then you can just have some free flow and air through the screen. Here on this side, 
There is a little coat closet here. And then here we have controls. <clears throat> as far as our Firefly system, we have inverter button, Truma on demand button here, some informational stickers and stuff here, and some storage up above. All right, stepping up into the bathroom area here on our left. Love this bathroom. This is a huge bathroom for an RV. So you have a really large mirror, has backlighting on it. There is a medicine cabinet over on the left, and then there is another one over here on the right. So you have dual cabinets and dual sinks. You have six pull-out drawers and some storage on each side. Porcelain foot flush toilet with the better lid instead of the cheap plastic lid. You have your you know, toilet paper holder, towel hooks holder, all that type of stuff in here. Step in shower. You have a large turbo exhaust fan up here. There's an AC duct here and a heat duct in the RV, uh, in the bathroom, I mean. And then you have a large skylight, slide across glass doors, adjustable shower head bar, some shelf space, a seat in there as well. You have the fan controls, another electric outlet there, light controls as well. It has a sliding pocket door for privacy. And then up here you have your towel and linen area. And then there is a laundry hamper at the bottom part. You'll notice as we're walking through here as well, all the crown molding and stuff kind of going down the roof line and things. Really beautiful. Another AC up here, and again, it is the Whisper Quiet style. You have electric outlet, USB charger ports on each side of the bed. There is a little end table on each side, so if you have a small uh, like CPAP machine or something, you could probably prop it up there, plug it in. There is also a little storage cabinet on each side of the bed like that. The bed will raise up, so there is storage underneath of there too. The Riverstone Legacy, the Riverstone and Riverstone Legacy come with a washer dryer standard. If you're looking at the reserve models, the washer dryer is an option that you can get or not get depending on what you want. Another slide out over here and you have six more drawers and some cabinet space. Jensen Smart TV here. There is Little cubby right here, and this is where they usually put the uh, cadet bedroom wall heater if you do that feature. If not, it's a little storage cabinet. Really nice dark tent mirrors on here as well. And over on this side of the closet, you have an upper hang bar, and you also have some shelf space back in there and a lower hang bar as well. And you'll see over here, you have your solar charge controller. There is a, uh, I think it's, uh, sorry, brain fart here, uh, Wi-Fi connector here that you can also use if you go to a place that has Wi-Fi you can tap into. And then you have your Dyson rechargeable vac. The Dyson rechargeable vac is part of the legacy package. If you don't do the legacy package, you still get a central vac, it's just not the Dyson vac. What a beautiful setup here. All right, so we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside real quick. Then we're gonna come back in and close this thing up. We'll be right back on the outside. 
All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Riverstone Legacy 419 RD fifth wheel here. And we're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this was again, the legacy package version. And when you do that legacy package, you have four different exterior paint jobs you can choose from. This particular one is the Blue Thunder. And then they have three more that we got popping up here in pictures for you to show you what those look like. And then if you don't do the legacy package, you can still get the paint as an option without the other legacy features or you would do no legacy package, no paint, and just get the standard fiberglass exterior. Your choice, depending on how much you wanna spend. All right, so here on the outside, we have two power awnings, LED light strips built in close to the body of the RV, manual override for electronic failure. Hopefully you never need it, but it's there. Adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And then these awnings, and even if you do the slide topper option on these, have a metal wrap to kind of protect it when it's rolled up. You can see in that picture popping up there, what that kind of looks like, it's just an aluminum wrap that kind of shields it when it's closed up. Not a lot of fifth wheel brands offer that. So up front here on the corner, you have the dryer vent You've seen that washer dryer when we were inside earlier. That's where it vents out at. This unit was also ordered with the four camera prep system. So you have one here on this marker light, one on the other side on the marker light over there, and then you're gonna have one above your main entry door, just above that light up there. And then you'll have one on the back as well, you'll see when we get to the back. So it's a cool little setup four cameras around the camper. You have that seven inch monitor, use it in your truck when you're driving down the road, or you can get a little electric adapter, take it into the RV and use it inside the camper to kind of see around your RV while you're inside of it. it kind of comes in handy at night. If you're in there sleeping and you might have it in your bedroom, you can see what's going on outside without having to get out of bed. Now behind the first baggage door there is two 40 pound propane tanks. A lot of brands use 30, some of your ultralight style use 20, but here they're going with 40 pounders. So you got bigger propane tanks, auto changeover regulator right here. Just down below that is a gas line hookup. So you could plug in a portable grill outside if you wanted to. And you also see that enclosed underbelly down there too. Now just behind that propane door there, you could see that door opened up there. That is a huge storage compartment there. The unit has a drop down Z frame. Then it also has a steel upper deck floor area that is tied into the main frame where a lot of brands use aluminum tubing in their upper floor deck and stuff instead of steel. The steel just makes everything stronger and again ties it into the main subframe, making it a much stronger setup. You can see in those pictures that were kind of popping up there, quite a bit of storage space, that steel and stuff up there as well. Moving on back just behind the door, you have a midship turn signal and just below that an electric outlet. So you could plug something in there. And there was also an electric outlet in that storage compartment I forgot to mention. Um, more ride entry step here. So this step comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds. But the big thing here is when you're running in and out of the RV, it's not shaking, rattling, and rocking and rolling the RV like a hover style step. So it is heavier duty, rated for 200 more pounds than a hover style step, and it helps stabilize things when you're running in and out. That step, you can see in the picture popping up there, actually kind of has a shock assist on it to help flip it in and out of the doorway. The entry door nicely finished off with a good paint job, just kind of matching up everything right there. You have the large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of there. Your model number is also located right there next to the entry door. So if you're out walking to the dealer's lot, looking at a camper, you see one you like, you look usually by that main entry door and you'll find the model number so you can tell your salesperson uh, what you like. The entry door handle is a touch pad lock, has a remote with it as well, and again, keys too, so you can use it multiple ways. 
There is also a little step light underneath of that step I forgot to mention. This one was ordered with the outside TV option. And that now is a Jensen Smart TV. Last year's version uh, was, I think, a Kinex TV with an FM radio built in, and you had two outdoor speakers that the TV worked the speakers only. Um, so there was a difference there. You have triple axle on this floor plan here. 17 and a half inch H rated Goodyear tires. A lot of fifth wheel brands just have 16 inch tires, either F or E range. But here you're getting 17 and a half. Uh, you got aluminum wheels, easy lube hubs, drum, I'm sorry, disc brakes on this model. Drum brakes are standard on most of the Riverstone floor plans. Disc brakes are an option, or when you do the legacy package, you also upgrade to disc brakes. So on this model here, you have disc brakes as well. There is the Road Armor suspension upgrade in the center you can see popping up in that picture there. Kind of acts like shock absorbers uh, as you're traveling down the road. Now on the Riverstone, you can also do the more expensive, more ride independent suspension, which basically makes each wheel kind of independent of itself. It is a very nice system. It adds a few hundred pounds of weight to the RV, uh, but it is pricey. So if you travel a lot, it could be well worth the upgrade for you. If you're somebody who just buys one, takes it to Florida or Texas or down south for four or five months in the winter and then you take it home and put it away, then you may not want to spend the extra money. But if you are a serious traveler and plan on really seeing the countryside, consider that as an upgrade. The windows on the RV are the frameless style windows and these are dual pane safety glass windows. So you have two layers of glass with some dead air space in between. That is a really nice feature to have that's standard on the Riverstone, uh, whether you get the legacy, the regular or the reserve, dual pane windows are now standard on there. And again, nice feature for you extended stay or full-time type customers. If you're kind of a weekend camper, it's not a huge deal, but really cool feature more for those extended stay or full-time people. Kind of going up here, you do have a little bit of storage right here in this area. So it's kind of a little side storage. Reminds you a little bit of the two toy hauler models that they have, the 42 uh, FSKG and the uh, 37 FLTH. Both nice toy haulers. And now they've actually got the 45 bath model which is a full toy hauler that they've just come out with here recently. And we'll be getting one of those probably either end of February, early March. So we'll be doing a video on those. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Up top there, you can see one of the optional slide out awning covers. And again, this has the metal protective wrap shield for when it is rolled up. You also notice the side of the slide is actually painted the base silver color or the base color of whichever color you pick when you're ordering a thing. But some brands just leave white fiberglass on the sides and that kind of looks a little chintzy when it's opened up. Looks beautiful when it's all closed up, but here at least they do paint it to match. Now this is a pretty cool feature back here on this model. You have a more ride slide in and out tray here. And this is pretty cool. There's a couple lights in here as well, but this just slides right on in. And there's a latch to latch it down there. But that tray is rated for roughly 800 pounds of weight. Just down below that, there's a two inch hitch receiver and that is rated for 300 pounds. It is not a towing style hitch. Uh, it's more for like a bike rack, but you do have a little hitch there, so you could put some stuff on it. Up top there, you can see the rear observation camera. Again, great safety feature to have. There's also reverse lights on the RV. Another nice safety feature, and again, just backing up alone, into the campsite at nighttime or something just kind of helps. A lot of fifth wheels and travel trailers and stuff don't have reverse lights. A 
over to the driver's side or off door side of the RV here. You have three slides on this side. Now just kind of tucked in below the baggage door there is your powered power cord reel. So there's a little flip up door there that you can access that. The other side of that storage area there. And then you'll also notice those little electronic boxes on each side. Um, those are for the Schwentech or Lippert in-wall slides, kind of like little brain boxes for them. Now looking down below here, you can see your spare tire underneath the bottom, and then you can also see the uh, LCI Waste Master box underneath the here to store your dump hose in. There's a stove exhaust out up there. Just in front of your axles here, you can see one of your six point automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. Hydraulic is stronger, faster, and a little more reliable than the less expensive electric versions. So that is partially why they use it on these heavier river stones. And again, your dump area right down below there. On the side here, you have your furnace exhaust out area here, and then you have your Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater right here as well. Looking up, you have your little security light on this side. And then behind this door here, we have a docking station. So you have your black, gray, and bath tank handles right here to pull and dump everything out. There is city water hookups, freshwater tank fill-ups, uh, bypassing for winterization purposes and tank fills. There's a water filtration system here, a motion light here, and a battery disconnect all located right here along with cable inlets and stuff and i did forget to mention these are motion lights in these baggage areas as well the storage areas over here we have the other side of the big compartment so right here you have your jack controls and then just down here is a little thing that flips up and you have your disc brake reservoir down there and your hydraulic reservoir down there as well for part of your slide stuff and your auto level jacks. Now, kind of looking over here, you have the 1500 watt go power inverter, which is standard on the RV. And then you also have your water manifold system for hot and cold water. This basically allows you to turn on and off individual water lines on the RV. The next door right here has the uh, batteries in there. You can see that in the picture popping up. There is room for four batteries. It comes with one battery standard from the RV manufacturer as part of their solar package. If you do, see this one has the extra two uh, solars on it as well. So you got one Roughly, I think it's 190 or 200 watt solar panel standard with one battery. You can upgrade to two extra solar panels for a total of three panels up there, or they now have what they call the ultimate solar package, which is basically a thousand watts of solar, a 460 amp hour lithium battery, and there's a 3,000 watt or 3,500 watt inverter that gets put in. And also I think it's Truma air conditioner or something like that. So that would allow you to run the air conditioner off of battery power. And then if you wanna get real crazy, they offer a second 460 amp hour lithium battery. So you would have a total of 920 amp hours of battery power to really kind of go crazy off the grid stuff. So very expensive packages to do, but if you are living in it full-time in kind of scenario uh, or a real type of uh, prepper off the gridder kind of person, you might want to consider that. It's all done by the factory, so it's under factory warranty and stuff versus some aftermarket or third-party company doing things for you. 
On the front side here, you have a really beautiful fiberglass front cap. Does have an LED light strip just above the hitch, and then two more coming down, one on each side there. This unit was also ordered with the Kurt Air Ride Suspension Air Box here. So you basically have a little shock and airbag on the front. Some customers prefer the Moore Ride and do that aftermarket. This one here does a great job, helps with a lot of the up and down bounce and stuff, but some people like the Moore Ride that does the chucking part. So depending on your preferences, you may or may not want to order that hitch and just put your own on afterwards, but that Kurt Air Ride is a nice hitch. Just on the corner, the front corner there, is some very important informational stickers. I want to pop these up for you here real quick. So the very first one popping up is your main production data sticker. And this sticker has production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. Next is the unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And it also has the length on it now too. And last but not least, we have the tire sticker here telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. And again, this thing has that tire pressure monitoring system already on it. So you've got something to help you remember that as well but very important to make sure you keep up with that tire pressure. Another cool feature this one was ordered with, it has the Onan 5500 watt propane generator. So that's a nice feature there, you can see it down there. Again, 5500 watts. You got a little bit of storage on the side and maybe a little bit above if you wanna throw something kind of dirty up on the top part of that area but a nice aftermarket feature that can be added to any Riverstone or you can get it from the factory. The Riverstone camper comes prepped for that generator no matter what. And then you can add it again aftermarket or get it from the factory if they're available. Uh, there's been a lot of generator shor uh, shortages over the last couple years, but seems to be correcting itself now. Sli uh, supply chain's getting a little bit better. But overall, a really, really beautiful fifth wall here. Now, real quick, I want to pop up a couple pictures of the roof, just so you can see what the roof actually looks like on one of these river stones. So looking down that roof line, you can see air conditioners. This one had all three ACs ordered on it. Two AC standard, third AC is an option. Uh, when you get to third AC, uh, or the legacy package includes the third AC, that third AC also has a heat pump in it. And then if you want, you can opt in for heat pumps and the other two ACs, your choice. But looking down there again, you can see plumbing stack vents, TV antennas, solar panels up there. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff up here that you do have to get up here from time to time. Inspect the seams, the seals, all the stuff up here and make sure that, you know, everything is nice and sealed up so you don't get water damage to your RV. It doesn't matter if it's one of these $150,000 fifth wheels or if it's a you know, $20,000 travel trailer. They're all gonna have stuff like this up here that you gotta get up here and maintain. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I want to close this thing up for you real quick, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Riverstone 419RD, again, legacy model. And I want to spend through here showing you what it looks like closed. I did forget to mention earlier, there's actually two wood colors and two floor colors and two furniture colors you can choose from when you order these. This is the Juno Gray with the cool gray furniture. They also have a decorator white wood, which is like what you've seen in the bathroom in this one. And they have a charcoal furniture, which is a darker kind of gray furniture. And they have a stone look floor or this kind of wood look floor. So a couple different ways you could order it. All right, let's get back to closing her up. So when you are ready to close this thing up, um, you will have to come right here to your Firefly Control Center. And this right here basically has the uh, app on it, or built into it, I guess you'd say, to do things like see your, sol your uh, 
sonar set up for your holding tanks. These have what's called the true tank sensors in it. It's a nice setup there. And you have generator start stop button here if you do the generator. Battery meter, we've been out here for quite a while and I'm starting to run down my battery. I'm at 11.6 volts at the moment. So hopefully things will close up properly. 12 volt tank heater, water pump switch. One of our ACs on the main panel here and a master on off light switch as well. You go in here to your slides and you can go in here to open and close your awnings. Go back to your slides. You have all your individual buttons and they're color coded. HVAC system, this one was ordered with three uh, ACs and also two heat pumps on this particular one. They didn't do the third, but kind of get the idea here. You can go in, set your temperatures the way you want them. Wish we had some heat going on right now because it's like 25 degrees and freezing outside. In here, you can kind of see what's going on with some of your electrical system as well. You can go into settings, kind of see some things, set your clock, dim and brighten your screen, back to your home panel. But right now, we're going to close this thing up. Hopefully, we got some battery power to do the job. All right, so let's lose this other glove here. So we are going to set this camera down here just so you can kind of see what this looks like coming in. You have two slides in the bedroom. The one on the left, which is your bed, is the hydraulic slide. And that does come in a little bit faster than the electric slide. Sounds different as well. We're really kind of making it work with uh, only having 11.6 volts. No electric, because we are outside here. But you kind of see what that looked like right there. And then you also have your bed slide, bringing that in as well. realized I forgot to put my mic back on so hopefully you could actually hear that but when it is closed up there is a decent amount of room here to squeeze into the bedroom so I could climb in there and maybe take a nap or something at a rest area or just kind of grab something out of there if I needed to but if you had to you could just run one of those slides out fairly easy um, let's see here. Yeah, everything tidied up nice and neat. Still have full access to the bathroom area, obviously. Uh, I'm plugged in the mic there, so hopefully this sounds a little better. Let's set this down real quick just to kind of show you what that looks like. Now when you are bringing these slides in here, it is very, very important to make sure that uh, you have things out of the way as far as inside the floor needs to be clean. You know, no kids toys, grandkids toys, you know, dog toys, whatever. Make sure everything's out of the way and your cabinet doors are closed back there so that the slide can come straight in properly. Also very important to make sure that there is nothing in the way when you're running the slides out. Make sure that you know there's no uh, water poles, trees, electric poles, whatever you might have at the campsite that you're in, you know, out of the way. So let's run in the other one here real quick. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. They are actually one of the biggest Riverstone dealers in the country. So when you are closing this up, you can come right on up in here and get back there to grab something if you needed to. 
So you do have some access to that area as well. Now when you're bringing in the kitchen slides, again, very important, make sure the floor is clean, make sure this shelf is down so you don't tear that off when you bring in that kitchen slide. And also make sure your leaf extension is out of the island part here, the kitchen table, so it don't go through your island. And when you're ready to bring this in, we are going to hit the button here. This basically just kind of tilts upward a little bit come straight in and when that is closed up you kind of see everything's close but like that top this top right down here will not stay up it actually kind of goes out over the edge of the slide a little bit so you got to make sure that's down you kind of see how this is all right here very very tight and close so with all the slides closed right now i could still kind of get through and grab things and do things the one that's really going to kind of mess me up from getting to the back is going to be this dinette slide now this slide when it comes in comes right up to the island and i can't go back there after that unless i'm climbing over the island to get to something uh, so that right there is going to be you know a big difference in getting to the back area all right guys thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my rv videos i really do appreciate it please be sure to check out the folks at couches rv nation they are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country will definitely save you a ton of money on a new rv if you're interested thanks again